Coming up on 406 in Indianapolis, Mayor Joe Hogsett introduced his proposed spending plan for the upcoming year last night. Hogsett saying one of his major focuses is addressing violence across the area. Michael Van Skoik is in our studio now to explain where the money is going and also how it could help. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, good morning. Mayor Hogsett promised a record investment in public safety. That's all part of an effort to provide police and other public safety officials with resources to help curb any local violence. In total, his budget sits around $1.4 billion. It would add more spending on police, sheriffs, courts, prosecutors, and public defenders. It also doubles the budget on the Marion County Coroner's Office, a move also needed in part due to rising deaths from COVID over the last few years, but also connected to rising homicide and fatal drug overdoses. In his speech to the City, Count, City County Council, Mayor Hogsett mentioned the roughly 200 job openings within the Indianapolis Police Department. To address that, he said his budget package will provide hiring bonuses for experienced officers, will also raise the pay for first-year officers. He says the city is in good shape to tackle an issue many law enforcement agencies across the country are dealing with, particularly staffing. But while other cities are struggling to find resources to address this national problem, our fiscal prudence over the last six years means that we're in a position to take swift local action. Mayor Hawksett also said this year's anti-violence plan is making a difference. Intentional homicides are down nearly 20% this year compared to last year. Non-fatal shootings are down 10%. And 2022 is on pace to see the largest decline in homicides in well over a decade. Meantime, another part of the fiscal package included property tax relief. Homes worth up to $250,000 would get a one-time tax credit of $150. Now that changes $100 for homes worth $250 to $400,000. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.